MTD CNC have travelled to Grimsby to the home of Bacon Engineering and I'm with the fifth generation of the family and we're going to be reviewing the XYZ XL730. David, thank you very much for having MTD CNC on site today. No, pleasure, great to have you here. Now, David, this is a beast of a machine. It's not your first XYZ uh, purchase. Um, so firstly, why, why are you using XYZ as your machine tool partner? Well, we've been building a, a progressive relationship with them over the last sort of five to seven years. Um, all the machines have done uh, have been great from our perspective. The support's been excellent, so um, it's just been a logical step every time we've looked to modernise that uh, we've turned to them each time. So uh, it's you know, a really sort of productive uh, partnership from our perspective. Before we focus on this machine tool, um, can you tell our audience, you know, what what components do you manufacture at Bacon Engineering, and a little bit about the company and the history. We call ourselves a general engineers, um, really broad brushstroke in what we do. Um, so on the machining side, anything from batches of components um, through to something that would fit on this machine, which would be like a five meter shaft, uh, a lot of stuff in the, in the packaging industry, um, chemical industry, etc. So we've got a really broad portfolio of customers uh, and, you know, the, and then the, 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 the products we produce you know, fit into that breadth as well. So um, you know, it's, no two days tend to be the same. Sectors? Um, so uh, utilities, uh, the renewables now, which is a, a big thing off, off the coast of Grimsby, uh, chemical industry, um, yeah, so re again, construction, you know, really broad portfolio. And how has your, your business evolved over the years? It's been going a long time, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a really interesting sort of journey, um, and particularly in the last sort of 10 years, we've, we've modernised massively from a, a manual machine shop through to now predominantly sort of CNC based and more modern machine, you know, such as the, the XL. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a progressive journey and I think we really now sit as a modern company in the 21st century, whereas if you visited us 10 years ago, it was a slightly different, uh, slightly different business we had then. So let's focus on the XL now then, David. Why or what were your considerations when purchasing this machine from XYZ from a business perspective? So we've always had a five metre um, sort of bed lathe in, in, in the machine shop. So when it came to sort of the modernisation and, and sort of uh, and, and to progressing things, we wanted to keep that capability, but have more flexibility than the manual machine, the board bend the Schofield that we had before this. So the, the XL730, it does the, the scale, but also we can use it as, along with the, the, the other sort of what I call the workhorses of, of, the, um, of our suite of machines to do sort of uh, to do smaller scale work as well. So it's great because it offers far more flexibility than, than the machine it replaced. Flexibility is one of the key features from um, this purchase that I can gather, but what about some of the other key features such as um, repeatability and accuracy? Are you seeing improvements in this arena too? It, it's, it's another level from you know, our, our old um, board bents did the job but you know as far as tolerances and accuracies yeah this is just streets ahead and the repeatability uh, again well that wasn't a, a, fa a factor with the board bench yeah, that was very much for bespoke one-offs so the, the, the quality of work we can produce on this is, is a game changer um, from our perspective you know really sort of streets ahead <laughs> 